Hello everyone, welcome to our Friendship Chronicles, the show of explore the beauty, significance of friendship through real story, experience and emotion. I'm your host today, Lo Yong Hui, and they are our co-hosts. Uh, hello, I am Ami. And I'm Jati An. Today is our first episode. The topic is simple and straightforward. You can have your own good friend, right? Yes, uh, exactly. Uh, we should have one or more friends in our life. Uh, thus, our uh, first topic for today will be a sharing session uh, from us about our friendship story. That's right. I'm looking forward to it. So, well, this is uh, from my own experience. Uh, okay, so I think we have been talking a lot about the friendship and that is formed from a different part of our life. So, but I want to share a bit about how the sport can create some of the strongest bond uh, out there. So, I think back in high school, uh, I used to play a rugby. Okay, so I think that um, the rugby, uh, as you can know, that it was a tough sport. So, in terms of physically and also mentally, and the training alone uh, can uh, is enough to test your limits, uh, including uh, for you to join uh, during a tournament, so play uh, division D. So, I think that during the uh, hours that we spend, uh, hours doing a running drill and also a practice uh, tackling and also a scrimmaging. So um, during that time, I think by going through uh, that uh, that hardship together, and also pushing each other, and to keep going, uh, I think it create a sense of uh, care me dear. Okay, uh, that was uh, I think unlike uh, no others, and uh, it's also one of the moments that I would like to share this uh, throughout uh, my entire life. So uh, I think that uh, the rugby uh, it was just not about uh, physical challenge. I think um, rugby is actually a team sport. Okay, so um, when we talk about a team sport, uh, I think it means that you need to rely on your teammates. Okay, you need to trust them to have your back, uh, and also communicating effectively on the on the field. And, uh, I think that uh, those uh, friendship is extend beyond the pitch, uh, rugby pitch. Uh, we are hanging out uh, after the practice and also we are celebrating our victory together and we are also uh, support each other through, through our uh, losses. Okay. So I think that the bond that we formed through the rugby were about more than just the sport itself. I think they were about our, our share value and our mutual respect and I think uh, a deep understanding about how to be a part uh, of the team. Um, I think that rugby taught me uh, a lot about discipline, uh, resilience, uh, and also respecting your opponent. Uh, but perhaps uh, the most uh, valuable lesson that uh, the most valuable lesson that I learned from rugby, I think, is a true friendship. Again, okay, so the friendship that I made through the rugby have last long after we graduated high uh, school. Uh, they have been there for me to my big and team and I know that I was always count on them uh, just like I was uh, we can count on each other uh, inside their field. That's a great story and how about you Dian? What is your story? Can you share with us? Yes of course. So the story is between me and the old ladies in my neighborhood. First time I meet with this lady when I was in front tree. She just moved to my neighborhood not long, long, long ago. I helped her carry some grocery when I was walking to my house. I met her halfway. She lived alone. Her husband passed away a long time ago. And her child mostly stayed in a different city. She is a nice lady. Always bringing food or sweets for my family. Parents also like to interact with her since she is truly a good person for me. She is not a neighborhood, but she is also a mentor. She has a lot when I face any trouble. I think she also sees me like a, like a child. But unfortunately, our friendship does not last long. One day, she feels sick. 
and her children brought her away to live with them. And a month later, we received the news that she passed away. It's a shame that I could not meet her at last. I still think about her since then. Oh, sorry to hear that. But I'm sure she had been to have a friend like Yeah, I'm also glad that I could meet her in my life. Even if the moment is not too long, it's okay. That's my story. Yeah, how about you, your friend? I'm very touched with your story, Vita. Well, my story is not similar to you both. It's quite bad for me, I think. I made friends since kindergarten, and I always thought she would be my greatest friend forever. However, everything changed. When we go to primary school together, she made new friends on during the time, and have has spent less time with me since then. I managed to make other friends too. But then her attitude changed towards me. She became controlling and manipulative. So she doesn't want me to go along with others. And she started to spread faulty bad news about me. It was hurt by his behavior on that time. So we were on the fifth grade on that time. Since then, I keep distance from her. But also, thanks to her, I made other two friends. Wow, that's terrible. I'm glad really you were able to keep away from her. Some type people are me. Yes, I agree. It will be a karma in session. Well, at least I go through the phrase. So, there is our story for friendship, and let's go to the next topic. Alright, thanks again for you guys' story sharing. And now, let's discuss about the le- lesson that we have learned about friendship, according to your experience. I think I start with you first. Well, through my friendship experience with the old lady, first of all, the lesson about friendship that I have learned is Ash is just a number. A true friendship transit Ash that allows wisdom and compilation to be shared a sixth generation. Although my Ash is quick a gap between the old ladies, but we both are still understand and carry with each other. Moreover, I think a good friendship is mutual support. The old lady will be the mentor and give me hope when I face challenge and in any type of issue. Oh, I'm so touched about your friendship uh, with that uh, I think uh, for me, uh, the idea of the diverse friendship, uh, I think, in which our life really hits home for me because uh, I think that my best friend, uh, who now also my roommate, is an Indian. Um, and honestly, I think he is one of the kindness and also a most supportive people that I ever met. I think that we came from a different background and then have a different uh, tradition. But I think that is what makes uh, our friendship is so special. Uh, and we are constantly uh, learning from each other. Uh, and so we are mostly trying a uh, new food. So I'm um, also uh, celebrating a different holiday. Uh, we are celebrating a and also a together. And I think this is what makes uh, our friendship so special and uh, this is something that I happy to uh, cherish for my life. It's such an amazing story. Yep, yeah, I agree. I think uh, a good friendship will incite you to a happier life and always support. Thank you both of you for the lesson sharing section. Alright, for topic two, we will end up here. And let's move to the last topic for today. Okay, all of the stories for today is based on three of us. Exactly, and we are so interested uh, in this friendship story sharing session, and I think that we need more story. Yeah, we look forward to hear more about the friendship story from all the listeners. And we are excited uh, to receive 
an interesting story from all of you. How about we do a story sharing section that we receive from the listeners for our next episode? Mm, yes, uh, I definitely agree with you. It's a good idea. So please don't be trying to share your story with us. You can just share your friendship stories by email in this address podcast123 at gmail.com And also don't forget to follow our social media uh, which is uh, our Facebook is podcast123 and our Instagram is podcast underscore 123 You may read all the latest updates based on our social media Alright, that's all for our podcast today we appreciate everyone who listened to us and thank you once again I'm Yong Hui and I'm Amin I'm Li An and see you at the next episode bye bye